So I guess and, you know you mentioned like the architecture of it. Like, what is it? So is it a like material wise? What uh, if you can discuss or at a high level is fine too. You know, I don't if there's something proprietary or anything. Uh, and then like um, like a manufacturing process, and then uh, I guess joining process as well. Yeah, for the various panels. Yeah, we yeah we so we are. Um, th there's nothing like I think super proprietary or sure. like that interesting to say about like the materials. Like it's a you know a uh, you know composite molding process. Um, I, you know I can say like we're not we're not making a sort of like composite unibody, which is sort of like something like you know Proterra my la in my last job where mm -hmm. where where it's like a basically like a single part um, and and it has to be structural and you're you know embedding like carbon fiber stringers in it and it's you know super expensive and super labor intensive um we 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 are you know we, we've we've taken an approach where we are are building out of you know s you know smaller composite um pieces mm -hmm. um and um and we're you know we do have a a, a metal chassis um that that uh you know that we're that we're sort of like building you know the, the body you know sort of kind of like a body body on frame um and and i think like you know that that is that is again it's 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 it's, it's, it's really a you know triangulation between a lot of like the you know engineering product requirements and cost and mass and you know and, and an assembly time that sort of got us to that like architecture so is it um i, I have like a, a an elementary background with composites and, and kind of doing some stuff with body structure i'm just i'm kind of curious when you look at like a, let's say like a jeep or like a bronco top right so those are is it similar in construction to that like maybe like with a is it like a are they kitting up essentially a series of um fiberglass or composite layers um and with insulation or things of that nature or is it like a one piece kind of insert that's being dropped into a mold yeah we i'm not i'm not quite sure how the assembly process works with with the jeep or, or those those um examples but um yeah i mean for for us you know you, you think about like it's a um you know uh uh like an you know you know you know uh, a vac form like open open like mold molded okay. like composite that's like creating a part and then you're bonding and then you're bonding you know pieces yep. of composite together to like fundamentally create like the body structure no, I mean, that makes sense too. I mean, especially, so it's vac formed. So like a one-sided tool, uh, which is nice because you're, you're only paying yeah. for one, right? <laughs> so, yeah, um, correct. yeah. I mean, yeah. no, I mean, it, I'm just kind of curious. Like when I looked at it, I was like, it seems interesting of how it's put together and everything you kind of described seems, you know, like very cost effective for what you're, what you're trying to do. You can get a lot of very complex shapes, control your material usage and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, composites, like, like you were mentioning, like they kind of have this like buzzword with respect to them, you know, for some industries, they're extremely exotic and in others, it's like the cheapest thing that they'll do, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. But uh, I, what I think is interesting is, you know, kind of speaking to like the, the life cycle of the, of the vehicle, um, you know, they, in many ways, you know, they can be like easily repaired um, and, um they may like, you know, very well, like lend themselves to that aspect of being, you know, in service for quite a long time. Cause it's, it's a little bit different than like a body structure of a vehicle. Cause you're not occupying it. Right. Um, so is there, um, is that one of the reasons that you've kind of gone through that process is just the longevity and it's almost like a bolt hole, I guess. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, certainly I'd say like longevity is, is like is 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 a is a is a part of it uh, that goes the factors into the calculus as well. Like that's 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 great. I mean, there there's ways to, you know, Airstream. I'd say, for instance, has a reputation for for being a product that lasts for a while. Mm -hmm. and people pass down Airstreams, and that's that's something that's made out of steel and aluminum, corrosive materials. But um, but generally speaking, I think yeah, composite composites can last a long time. Gotcha. Um, one of the things I was kind of curious about is. Um, so like, we kind of talked a little bit about the body structure. There's obviously a lot of like window openings. So it's it's not just a car, right? It's a, it's a living space. Um, like, what material are the windows, and kind of how did you you know maybe balance out the amount of windows where they're placed um, because they're um, you know if they're glass, glass can be expensive and heavy. Um, if they're not, if they're a polycarbonate, then there's kind of you know different trade offs there. 
uh, just and then just like the overall design, you know, feel of it. Like it's big in the auto industry as well. It's like the greenhouse, how much open air and light you have coming into a vehicle, what that looks like from a cabin. Can you talk about a little bit about those trade offs and kind of like what went into like the overall layout of the, the light chip? Yeah. I mean, maybe high level, just for those that are less familiar with it, like, yeah, like the, the whole concept of the vehicle is to make a very sort of like open living space. Um, that's, you know, connecting you to nature. And, and, and that's, that is very different in the RV industry. I think it's becoming more co common in automotive where, you know, a lot of cars that are coming out will have like a full glass roof yeah. or um, just tons of glass. And um, in the RV industry, which, what, what is much more common is, is like, you know, much smaller windows. And, and, you know, frankly, I think a lot of RVs, you go on them and it feels a little bit like you're in a cave, Sure. Um, which, which is, you know, just, you know, not, not the approach that we wanted to take. Like you spend all this time going to some, you know, beautiful state park and, and then like, you know, we want, want you to feel connected with it. And, and then like, then, and then we also want to, you know, be able to um, still provide you with privacy and, and, and things when, when you want it. Um, but anyway, that, that has led us to a, a layout that is, you know, a, a, a really sort of nice open floor plan, you know, with a, with like a you know, big open space, um, it's led us to a ton of glass on, on, on all of the surfaces to, to really connect you with, with, you know, your, your, your location. Um, and then, uh, yeah, in, in terms of like some of like the specific material choices, I, th I think, you know, we are using a combination of glass and polycarb, um, and, and, um, and, um, the sort of like factors you, you mentioned some of them, like it, all things being equal, you, you'd want to try to make things out of polycarb because it's lower mass and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, typically lower cost, but um, what we found is like the experience of there's there's downsides of polycarp. Uh, you know, if you don't if you don't treat it appropriately, it can scratch. It's it's harder to like control uh, the transparency. Um, it's it's like for windows that you want to open, it's it can warp in the sun and and so and so um, you know for us like you can't you can't be glass in in in, sure. in, 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 some, in some use cases so. So for us, like, you know, many of, you know, the windows, especially the ones that we want, um, you know, to, to open, um, uh, you know, gla glasses, glasses is, 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 is the way to go. And then in others uh, uh, where, um, you know, opening is not a, require in a requirement or it's in a part of the vehicle where, um, uh, you know, where we are, we're less concerned with, with like perfectly matching like tints or something like that, sure. then, then, we, then, we'll, then, we'll, then we can use a polycarb. 